Sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith, we may possess an unending love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and, filled with jealousy, laid hands on the apostles, put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison and let them out and said, Go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison, So they came back and reported, We found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors, but when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what this could come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, The men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them in, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks 
thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him, that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles of that taking place today, it would be a major security breach. <laughs> but I think as we Again, look at those who continue to witness to the uh, resurrection. They're being questioned, and they're being threatened, they're being thrown in prison for speaking the truth. And that carries us into the gospel where we have the uh, familiar John 3.16 passage where you know everyone who believes in uh, God might not perish but might have eternal life. As we listen to Uh, this particular episode in John's Gospel, we see that our belief in the truth is major to what we are about. And the truth is that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came into the world to save us, not to condemn us. And that if we are going to be condemned, it's going to be through our own human faults that we pull up as kind of the Gospel truth living in darkness, living in sin, and not seeing the light. This gospel passage has a particular interest as we come into the spring season, too, because we see more and more light. And as we walk through that Easter season, uh, we start out as with the Easter vigil in the darkness, but then nature kind of takes its course through these next six or eight weeks where we have more light. Again, walking in the light, the light being Jesus Christ himself. Let us pray today that we may come to a greater belief in Jesus, the Son of God, 
the one who has come into the world to redeem us. And by that belief, we may be the light that goes into the world bearing the message of Jesus Christ. Let us pray that the Church may continue to be purified and sanctified through the grace and mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the peace of Christ may reign in the hearts of civic and political leaders. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are suffering the loss of a loved one may find comfort in the hope of eternal rest with the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this community of faith may grow in holiness and a spirit of thanksgiving through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died, having lived with Christ, may be welcomed into his heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, hear these prayers and answer them in your great love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed are you, forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and for all the holy church. O oh God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right in us. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly banquet kingdom are thrown open <coughs> to the faithful. <coughs> For his <clears throat> death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Amen. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. <coughs> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Daniel our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. At this time, we invite you to join in a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. And you come to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in heaven. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be with him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into our Satan and all the Jesus' spirits, without love of the world, seeking the ruin of the soul.